Thomas Alive Today presents Eagle Food Centers. In 1893, Tenenbaum family opened the forerunner of Eagles chain in Davenport. In 1921, Gaithman's and Eagle Cash and Carry opened small neighborhood markets in the Quad Cities, which specialized in fruits and vegetables. Both operations grew during the 1930s as both family operations added new stores. Eagles was owned by brothers-in-law Frank Weindruch and Isidore Pesses. Max Gaithman of Rock Island, and his sons, Ben and Morris, owned the Illinois Gaithman stores. Their uncle George and his sons, Morris and Sam owned the Iowa Gaithman stores. By 1935 self-service had become important in the grocery business by allowing self-service at lower prices. In 1952, Abe Tenenbaum died, and his nephew, Richard Waxenberg took over Tenenbaum's, and the Illinois Gaithmans merged their five stores with the eight stores of Davenport's Tenenbaum Waxenberg family. Together they became known as United Supermarkets. In 1954, United merged with 10 stores of Eagle Cash and Carry, forming the largest area chain, called Eagle United Supermarkets. In 1957, construction was completed of the new 155,000 square feet Milan Warehouse. The former Eagle Warehouse on 5th Avenue in Moline was sold to Freshpack Candy. In 1961, Eagle was purchased by Consolidated Foods Corporation of Chicago. Consolidated operated 68 Piggly Wiggly stores at that time. The Eagle and Piggly Wiggly operations were then combined and operated from Eagle's corporate office and warehouse in Milan, Illinois. In 1965, Coin Bakery of Rock Island was purchased and became a part of Eagle, under the name Harvest Day Bakery. In 1968, California-based Lucky Stores bought Eagle Food Centers from Consolidated Foods Corporation. Eagle Food Centers and Piggly Wiggly Stores were renamed Eagle Discount Supermarkets, following Lucky's successful discount pricing program. Lucky established Lucky Midwestern Division headquarters in Milan, Illinois. In 1981, Eagle operated 136 stores and had sales of $1.2 billion. Eagle expanded into the Midwest by opening a new distribution center in Westville, Indiana. In 1984, a strike by the United Food and Commercial Workers against Eagle Food stores created a better labor atmosphere. In 1985, after four years of operation, the Westville Distribution Center closed. In November 1987, Lucky Stores sold majority ownership of the company to New York-based Odyssey Partners. Odyssey provided a monetary transfusion which allowed Eagle to expand old stores and add new ones. In December 1987, Eagle filed a building permit for a $1.2 million expansion of its avenue of the city store in Moline, ballooning the store by 13,000 square feet. In 1988, new stores opened in Galesburg in the Chicago suburb of Downers Grove. In August 1988, Eagle announced construction of a $2.5 million, 42,600-square-foot grocery store in East Moline to replace an aging, 27,700-square-foot store at 1313 42nd Avenue. In June 1990, Eagle Food Centers elected its first board of directors at the company's first annual stockholders meeting at the Milan Community Center. In May 1992, Pasquale Patpatiti, chairman of the board and chief executive officer of Eagle Food Centers Incorporated, retired after 35 years with the company. In December 1999, Eagle sold five of its Chicago area stores, leaving 90 stores in Illinois, Iowa, and Indiana. Eagle stock price dipped to $2.03, down from a 52 week high of $4.25, and the company reported a net loss of $1.5 million. Eventually, the company found that it was unable to compete with other chains, such as Jewel Osco, Dominic's, Hy-Vee, Walmart, and Kroger. The first sign of this was the sale of the Harvest Day Bakery in Rock Island, Illinois, to Metz Baking Company in 1998. The company went into Chapter 11 bankruptcy in March 2000. In 2003, Eagle Food Store ceased operations and sold all of its assets. Some of the stores were acquired by other chains, such as Hy-Vee, Kroger, Jewel, and Butera. The Downtown Eagle Corporation was founded to take over two stores, one in Clinton, Iowa and the other in Dubuque, Iowa. They purchased the rights to the Eagle Country Market name and signage and operate the two stores under the Eagle Country Market name. One location in Coralville, Iowa, was purchased by Geico and converted to a call center. One location in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, was bought by Rockwell Collins. Another site in Iowa City was bought by AutoZone. 
The Buffalo Grove, Illinois, location was converted into a bowling and entertainment center known as Escape, and following a sale to the Brunswick Corporation, it was renovated into the country's third Brunswick's upscale bowling center. One of the Eagle stores in Galesburg, Illinois, was later a B&G grocery store created by two former Eagle workers. Now the building is a Dunham Sports. The other location on East Main Street was raised, and Nee's Harley-Davidson dealership was built in its place. The Eagle Country Market in Moline, Illinois became a high vee that has since closed and the one in Rock Island, Illinois was rebranded to Rock Island Country Market, which has also since closed. There are many Eagle buildings remaining. Most are occupied by stores, some include Kroger and Witches Schnucks. Jump on the merry go of savings during the Great American Food Fest of National Brands. Save more with Eagle Key Buy prices on Borden's Real Lemon Juice, a 32-ounce bottle, just $1.54. Weiler's Bouillon Cubes, a 25-count package, just 96 cents. And Eagle Brand Condensed Milk, 14 and a half ounces, just $1.26. Join the big top circus of values going on now at Eagle Food Center. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.